So today's lesson is solving problems with equations. So there, we're going to have word problems that we have to solve with equation or set up an equation and solve. All right, let's just review solving for x here on the warm up. Now I'm not going to put it into the calculator, but you can. But just check your answer after I go through these steps. So we need to do distributive property here. So three times x is three x, and then three times the four is 12 and it's minus 12. Do distributive property here, it's two X and then two times four is eight. All right, we're gonna combine like terms. We have four X and three X is seven X. That's all we're doing in this step. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our variables on the same side. So I'm gonna subtract two X from both sides. And 7 minus the 2 is 5x minus 12. And we're left on the right side, it's just 8. Now we have a two-step equation. You're going to add 12 to both sides. And we have 5x is equal to 8 plus 12 is 20. I'll go ahead and stick it up here so we can finish. This last step, you're going to divide by 5. And x is 4. So what we're doing today, are we will write one variable equations from real world problems with variables on both sides that represent problems using rational coefficients and constants so that I can translate the word problem into an algebraic equation. I'll know I got it if I can explain how to write equations for my word problem. Our central question, how do you solve real world problems with equations? So let's just see, we're gonna have, here's some academic vocabulary. This is in your uh, notebook and class kick. But just as a review, you know, here's variable, the constant is on, that number on its own, like two X plus four, four would be a constant. Coefficient is that number multiplied by the variable or divided like eight Y, the coefficient is eight. Operator that's just showing add, subtract, multiply, divide. Term, um, so these are all considered terms when you have an expression. Um, here's examples of expressions. And then equation, a mathematical sentence stating that two expressions are equal. So keywords to help write equations from word problems. Because we'll be, we will be translating the words into number sentences. So here's addition, words, I'm not going to read all these. These are in class kick as well. Here's subtraction words. We have multiplication words. And then the last column there, division words. All right, so again, these are important to know and how to translate. So let's look at what we do. So I just broke it down in steps here. So here's our first part. What are we trying to find? This will be our unknown and the variable. So it's important to read it carefully and understand what you're looking for. Kaya rented a limousine for prom. There was a one-time charge of $100 plus an hourly rate of $45. Her total cost for the night was $437.50. How many hours did Kaya rent the limo for? All right, so that's what we're looking for there. So how many hours? Here's, that's our question. So I'm gonna just put, we need to know um, number of hours. Let's put the number sign. We, now I put on there, let's use H for our variable, H for hours. Write an equation to represent the problem. Okay, so let's carefully go through this. There was a one-time charge of $100 plus an hourly rate of 45 an hour. That would be the 45 times each hour. So that what that looks like is you have $45 per each hour plus the one-time charge. Her total cost for the night was $437.50. So, 
Okay, you can pause this video and solve that equation. Where for this recording, we're not going to do that. So just know how you shouldn't know how to solve for H. All right, so this one, Shakira went bowling with her friends. She paid three dollars to rent shoes. That's just a flat rate, and then four seventy-five for each game of bowling. If she spent a total of $42, how many games did she bowl? All right, so that's what we're looking for. That's our question. How many games? So it says, what are, what are we trying to find? Number of games. And it says, what variable will you use? You can use any variable. Let's just use G for games. It doesn't matter. So write an equation to represent the problem. So we know she paid $3 to rent shoes. That's just a flat fee. That's, so that's like the plus three that's going to add on. But 475 for each game, you have to write as 475 times the number of games that she bowled. So then we're going to put that together, 4.75 times G plus the $3 shoe rental and then it says she spent a total of $42. So those added together has to come up to 42. Then you can solve and check on your own. You can pause the video. And write down any questions that you have for me, just reach out to me. So two eighth grade classes are selling raffle tickets to raise money. One class is selling tickets for $250 each and has already raised $350. The other class is selling tickets for $3 each and has already raised $225. Which equation can be used to find T, the number of tickets each class needs to sell so the total amount raised at the same time or is the same for both classes? Okay, so we don't know how many tickets they need to sell, so that's what we're trying to figure out. So if we let T be the number of tickets, Then we're going to look at this first class is 250 for each ticket, so 2.50 T. And they've already raised 350, so that's 3 plus the 350. And you might be able to eliminate some just from that. It's, so look at what we have, $2.50 per ticket plus 350. Okay. That's what makes this one wrong. And look at this. Okay, so this one looks good. Let's just make sure the second part of that is correct. So the other class is $3 per ticket. Looks like they didn't put the decimal, so we'll just put 3T. And they've already raised 225, so plus 225. Yes, that's it. And for practice, you could solve for T and see what that answer is. All right, this is our last one for this recording. This was a star question. It says a, a rectangle's perimeter and area have the same numerical value. The width of the rectangle is three units. What is the length? All right, so let's look at, we have a, let's see the right, a rectangle. And we know that the width is three. So what we know about this, this is going to be a lot of extra steps. We know that the area and perimeter are the same value. So how do you find the area of a rectangle? You do length times width. Perimeter, remember, is the distance around it. So you have two widths plus two lengths. Now we know that the width is 3, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute the 3 in. So we have, all I did is switch those around, put the 3 for the W, so it's 3L. We don't know the length. Over here we can do 2 times 3, which I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just write that down. It's, we know that 2 times 3 is 6, so you don't remember how, how I got that. All I did was do 2 times 3, and that's 6. All right, we're going to solve it by 
subtracting 2L from both sides. 3 minus 2 is just 1, so we're left with just L is equal to 6. Now this says, what are we looking for? What is the length of the rectangle in units? So it's just 6. Please reach out to me if you have any questions or need help.